Hey there everyone, remember that awesome video we made two years ago on how to upload your website's local files on hosting? It was such a hit and I was blown away by all the positive feedback and support from all of you. Thank you so much. Now I realize that hosting has gone through some changes since then and it's time for an update. I've created this brand new video to bring you the latest configurations you need for a successful website upload. Before we begin, I want to be transparent with you. The link in the description won't give you any additional discounts beyond what Hostinger already offers on their website. However, if you decided to start your Hostinger plan through that link, it would strongly help me create more helpful videos to assist those who face technical challenges. Alright, enough with the delays, let's dive right into this knowledge back video and empower ourselves with the latest insights on hosting. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey. Click on claim deal now to get down to the hosting plans. You will find three choices and actually there is a fourth choice which is about single web hosting but it's greatly a big loss since it's only made to support one website and a price difference of ten dollars saved on the annual plan for me i choose the business plan for the following reasons it has an increased performance boosters unlike the premium which will sometimes make you feel like your website is a little bit sluggish it's actually something I experienced myself. As a programmer, I will need more storage for multiple websites hosting, as I sometimes make websites and host them through my business plan. But for you, if you aim for personal use, you won't necessarily need this feature. The business plan also provides free CDN service, but let me tell you that you can overcome that in the premium plan, and if you don't know how, then you better see my YouTube video how to get Cloudflare CDN for free. The WordPress AI tools and caching are very important for me as a programmer. But you really don't need them if you are not willing to try your hand in making your own WordPress website later. I also want to make sure that my websites are protected against any DDoS attacks. And if you want to understand what is that, then look at the description where I have clarified what, is that, what that could be. It may be a little bit different in the cloud hosting, which I do not prefer you go on with as it's more suitable for professional websites crowded servers and e-commerce businesses where there are a lot that is going on already. So now I'm gonna start purchasing the business plan and if you will buy the premium plan then no worries as the steps are actually identical. So I'll go ahead and choose the annual plan and here it will ask me to provide my email and password so I will go on to do that. Let me now teach you a very cool stuff before you actually pay. So if you are on Microsoft Edge, there is a tool provided by the browser that can catch any available discounts and it goes like magic. I'll just click on apply coupon on the sidebar if there is any and I hope you catch yours also. Hmm, it has saved me like 10% from the price, which is absolutely cool to me. Now I'm going to fill my personal payment details and you will not be able to see that. The process of setting up our website is going to be very simple now. There are three choices, either you migrate a website you already have online by another hosting service like Hostinger, I mean to transfer your website from GoDaddy to Hostinger, from HostGator to Hostinger, which we will not discuss in this video. The other one is about creating a website 
using the amazing builder AI Builder, which is actually super cool, but it will be also made in another video. Describing your website's purpose and overall presentation. Afterwards, we will just scab and go ahead to upload our own website from our personal PC or laptop. As the annual plan comes with a free domain name, then we do not have to purchase a new one, and also to use an old domain that is out of discussion in this video. When you choose your domain name, make sure you do not write .com or .net by yourself and just choose it from the drop down list on the left. Yep, the domain is valid, so let's continue. After choosing your domain name, you have to let Hosting buy the domain on your behalf. So you have to give it your contact details and click the finish registration process. For me, I need to edit some of my personal details before I submit, so I will speed up that part. Now, Hostinger is telling you where exactly your server location and the domain name you purchased. I always like to make sure that the location chosen for my website is the nearest to my location and this means faster performance. Now we are completely ready and the only thing left is to upload our local website files on each panel, which means hosting a panel actually. If we click on view website, you will find a kind notification telling you to start uploading your website. We will go to the control panel where we can manage our website. Directly click on file manager and do not worry about the message below. It will be automatically fixed once you upload your website. As you see here, you do not upload your website anywhere except in the public HTML folder. There will always be that file. So try not to delete it by mistake, or maybe you can download it and save it somewhere else. Now I can just drag all my website files from the local folder and directly drop them in this folder and everything will be alright. But it's greatly recommended to zip all your files first and upload that zipped folder at once. So I'm gonna name my zip folder as dest, which means distribution folder. Once it's installed, you can extract it. Delete the desk.zip as it's no longer needed. Now, I also need to move all these files out of the distribution folder and they will not work from here. If you are still curious what is the reason for it, then hosting it will look for a file called index.html on the public HTML folder. So apparently you have to move it and everything else there. Also, this means that your homepage must be named index.html to avoid seeing 404 page when you try to access your website. So make sure to name your main homepage index.html. Let's now refresh the H panel and start reviewing our website. And yo, it is working fine. My design is awesome, right? Um, unfortunately, this will not be enough. If you have multiple sub pages linked to your website, like the main menu links about 
projects, things like this, they will not, unfortunately, work. <laughs> Cheer up, the solution is right here. Just add this file called .htaccess, which you will find in the link in the description, and you will find it also on Stack Overflow in one of the solutions for this problem. To understand why this problem is happening, I don't want to make this video so long, so you will find that too in the description below. Everything is working fine now. Thank you a lot for watching this video. If you subscribe, we will be discussing a range of hosting updates. So keep your bell ready as we may knock on your door with more useful tips on hosting. Thank you a lot for it.